Hey there, creatives. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Loretta Houston. I'm in advertising, fashion, commercials, sports illustrated swimsuit photographer, and a Canon EOL. Today, we're diving into one of the most requested videos, what's in my photography bag as a fashion and advertising photographer in 2024. over my last 19 years as a photographer. And I've learned that what you carry says a lot about how you shoot, how you move on set, and ultimately what kind of photographer you are. So let's get right into it and explore what tools I rely on to get the perfect shot, whether it be in studio, on location, and everything in between. First up, my trusted go-to bag, Case Logic. I bought these um, bags. It's actually my second one I bought from them, and I bought them from Amazon. And I've actually had them throughout my 19 years of shooting as a photographer. And uh, yeah, they last. It's very durable. Um, it's very stylish. And it's got a lot of space I need for a full day on set. You can look at the compartments here. Um, there actually are more Velcro, um, so these, these parts are Velcro, so you can actually fit in your bag, but there's more. Um, so you can create your own compartments, and this is what I really love about it because it has a safety, um, safety Velcro, Velcro, I'm not even Velcro, but it's safety, it has a safety thingamajig. <laughs> <laughs> um, that you can put your camera in so that it does not slip out when you open the bag. Um, and then, you know, it has like a little little space here and, um, you know, you can put your water bottle connections here. Um, so it's really a good bag and I love it. Also, I have ugh, this big one. This is from Regard. Um, I got this as a gift, actually, from a conference uh, that I attended and uh, spoke. And this bag is, how can I say? I wouldn't bring this on the plane because it's so big, but at the same time, it's good if you're going on location nearby or to a studio where you can unload the bag. Um, this definitely will not fit under this seat uh, comfortably on a plane. Let's talk about the heart of any photographer's kit, which is the cameras. Right now I'm using the Canon ES R5 Mark II. Uh, this camera is a powerhouse for both studio and on location shoots. I've actually used it um, in a few campaigns recently. Um, it's got everything I need from high resolution, incredible dynamic range, and it handles skin tones very well, which is so important when shooting fashion. For backup, I also carry the Canon EOS R5 because to me, that is important when I'm shooting campaigns or commercial work, or if I'm out in the middle of nowhere in the Bahamas shooting for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. You never want to be caught without a second body, especially working in those type of rooms because there is no room for errors, right? None. So I got another Canon R5, the backup of the backup. Um, and the reason why I have an extra one really is just for video. Um, since I'm doing a lot of social media now and putting out content, and actually shooting my own campaigns from time to time, I actually have this, Canon EOS R5. So from time to time, I actually have or carry small cameras just in case I want to shoot something real quick and just don't have time to prep it. And so yeah, this is such an amazing camera. I'm just so happy. I actually bought it. This is the Canon G7X Mark III. It's a nice camera. Um, you can see like the viewfinder in the back. So it's really great to shoot when you're traveling as well. I've actually taken this to the Philippines. All right, lenses. 
These are the tools that really help me tell a story. Uh, first up, I have the RF 14 and 35 millimeter. I actually use this lens in a lot of my personal projects or uh, editorials where I have the creative freedom to tell that story. And so this is always my go-to lens. Um, it's very sharp, um, it's rich in tones, and uh, yeah, it's an overall like good lens. Next up is my RF 2470 from Canon. Now, this is always in my bag as a fashion advertising commercial photographer. Even when I shot sports with Jay swimsuit, this was my main lens. And the reason why is versatile. You know, I can take a whole scene, but then again, I can be intimate with the model. It's really good in fast paced uh, fashion campaigns where time is of essence. And so, yeah, this is great, especially when you don't want to change lenses in the middle of a campaign shoot. Now for the next lens, this is the Canon RF100. This is my go-to for anything beauty. Uh, this is also my go-to when I am shooting campaigns, whether it be uh, a shoe company, a purse company, or jewelry company. I can go in and get every detail of that product. So this lens is a must and it has to be in my bag in every shoot. Now for my last lens, this is the Canon RF50. This is a lens that is great for portraits. This is my portrait uh, go-to lens. This one is just such a remarkable lens. Everything is sharp. It's just smooth. It's just such a robust lens that I am in love with it. And so I shoot a lot of my uh, fashion with this one as well um, when I want to get up real close and do a portrait shot of the model. This is also the bag that I carry my lenses in. This is a Canon bag and it has the different compartments that you can put your lenses. You can move the Velcro around to create your own compartments. Um, and it's such a great bag. Um, I usually put all my lenses um, in here. Any caps in here, because I'm notorious for losing them or leaving them behind. And you know, it has a compartment here and a compartment here. So it's such a great bag. Now for the little things that make a big difference. First, memory cards. I always have a ton of these because let's face it, you don't want to run out of storage in the middle of a shoot. Um, I use the Lexar memory card and I am also a Lexar elite photographer. Uh, the speeds are great and it's reliable. And a fun fact, this is a memory card storage I bought my first week as a photographer and 19 years later, I'm still using it, so I was always meant to be a Canon EOL. Now, everybody should have a few of these in their bag. Uh, this is the battery chargers. I have at all times between four to six in my bag. I don't know what the shoot may entail, so I just wanna make sure that I'm always covered. Um, so yeah, definitely six or four of these are in my bag at all times. I also recently just got the battery grip for the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. And this I have to always have in my bag. This is just as important as the batteries. Um, this will keep the shoot going until our next break where I can change the batteries. So yes, every fashion photographer, every commercial advertising photographer, this has to be in our bag or on the camera. I also have a portable SSD for backing up my image right on set or on location. It's a multi-tool for emergencies. And of course, snacks and water because long shoes require fuel. This is made by Lexar. It's very light. It's easy to put into your bag or your purse. So yeah, 
This is great. I love it. Depending on your clients, especially in advertising, I typically tether all my images to the computer or laptop. Um, if it's a digital tech, it will tether right into the digital tech's um, station. So yeah, and I have two of these just in case one shorts, I have a backup. I'm a tickler for organizing my bag. So uh, I bought a few of these net bags where you can actually see through them. And uh, this one is specifically for holding all my batteries at any time. And here's another netted bag that I have. This one carries all my chargers, uh, phone cords, uh, anything small that I don't want loose in my bag. So this is really great. Again, I like to see through the bag so I know exactly what I'm picking up without guessing. And here is my little small bag where I carry all my lipstick, uh, Neosporin, uh, perfume, uh, breath freshener, mosquito repellent. This is one of the things that's just as important as the camera for me. And of course, the laptop. I have to have this every photo shoot that I have. And if I'm not tethering, I'm actually downloading the images into an SSD. So yeah, always have a laptop. And I usually have like lotion, um, you know, anything from hand sanitizers in this bag as well. Um, and so, yeah, I always have to have the little things because those are just as important. And I actually bought the DJI Neo. This is great for me when I'm shooting, whether it be in studio or on location, just showcasing, you know, the whole scene from the air, um, just so that everybody can get a BTS. So yeah, this is gonna be a great one. This is gonna be a real good friend of mine. Yep, this is the DJI Neo. Don't you just love it? And you stick your palm and it lands in your hand. There you go. So that's what's in my bag in 2024. Every piece of gear has a purpose and they all help me create the work I'm passionate about. If you're a fashion or advertising photographer or you're just getting into the field, I hope this gave you some insight into what tools can really elevate your shoots. Let me know in the comments what's in your bag or if you have any recommendations for gear I should try out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content like this.